Hello, in this video we will discuss the concept of spanning tree practically. So guys, like you can see, I already have two topologies. So in both of the topologies, switches are connected in redundant fashion. So if I see topology number one, where we have two switches, they are connected via two links. So let's name it topology one and let's name this topology topology two. So in both of the topologies, we can see switches are connected in redundant fashion and you can see both the links are not uh, shown in green color. One of the link is in orange color like I can see on switch uh, on the switch I am like it is switch one link number F is zero by two is 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 in orange color. So orange color means that particular port is blocked. And if I see topology number two, and if I move to switch three, again I can see FA zero by two port is blocked. It means these particular ports are blocked, and switches part uh, particularly you can say preventing loops by blocking these ports. Now, let me take axis of switch zero. So let me name it switch zero. And let's name the other switch also switch one. Now, guys, like we can see, we have two switches. So if I will draw this topology here, I have two switches, switch one, switch two. They are connected by how many links? Two links. This is link number one. This is link number two. And we know this is switch 0, this is switch 1. So how loops are prevented? So if you remember the process, first of all, root bridge is elected. So let me correct the spelling. Elected. Root bridge is elected on the basis of bridge ID. Bridge ID is collection of bridge priority and MAC address so like this is the default topology I have not changed any MAC addresses there so both switches will have the same priority value so we can check it by the command show spanning tree so this is the priority of a bridge so on Cisco platform we always add VLAN number to the priority value so by default priority for switches is 32768 we are adding VLAN number to the priority VLAN number is 1. Similar on switch 1 we can check show spanning tree and this is the priority for the other switch switch 1. So you can see both switches have same priority. Now if I check the base MAC address. So this is base MAC address of switch 0 this is base MAC address of switch 1. So which value is lower you can see triple zero one is lower than double zero six zero. So this switch is the root bridge. Now if we, if we check the above information root ID if you check the priority this priority is of root bridge. So the same switch is elected as, as root bridge like you can read here this bridge is the root. It means the same switch is elected as root bridge because of MAC address because of lowest MAC address. So now we know which guy is root bridge this guy and this guy is non root bridge now if we talk about root bridge all ports on root bridge are designated ports as you know that uh, only root bridge is allowed to send BPDUs throughout the network in case of spanning tree. No other switch is allowed to send BPDUs in case of spanning tree. So non-root bridge switch will receive the BPDUs and propagate them throughout the network. Now so both ports on root bridge are DP designated ports. Now on non root bridge switch which port will become root port. So root port elections are done on how, how many criteria? 
root port election. So if you remember, we have three criteria. First of all, we will check cost. Then we will check sender bridge ID. Then we will check sender port ID. So these are the three criteria. In my case, two criteria will tie. An election will be done on the basis of third criteria, sender port ID. So this port is actually the lowest port and uh, this port will become root port and this port will be blocked. So like I can see here also in packet tracer that the above port is root port. If I show you, you can read here FA0 by 2 is block, FA0 by 1 is my root port and it is in which state forwarding state whereas fa0 by 2 is in which state blocking state so guys in topology 1 now you know how elections are happening why switch one, switch 0 is root bridge why switch 1 is non root bridge now i have uh, one more topology that is topology 2 in topology 2 also we can see which guy is root bridge how let me close console of the other switches so let me take cli access let me name them according to the number so i am naming it switch 2 so this is switch 3 this is switch 4 now this is confirmed that switch 3 is not the root bridge because on switch 3 a port is blocked and on root bridge no ports are blocked. So you can see just by seeing the ports that uh, this particular switch is root bridge or not. So out of switch 2 and 4 I have to select which switch is the root bridge. So how I will select? select? I will simply run the command show spanning tree. And in the spanning tree output I can simply see this switch itself is the root. So switch 2 is the root bridge. If I move to switch 4, show spanning tree. You can see here we have a root, root bridge. Now you can see cost. This is the cost to reach the root bridge. What is the cost value here you can see? Cost value is 19. It means for switch 4 to reach switch 2. The cost is 90. Now we can see both ports on root bridge are designated ports. Whereas if I talk about switch 4, on switch 4, port number 4, sorry, port number 2 is root port. This port is root port. Port number 1 is designated. But if I check the same things on switch 3, show spanning tree, according to switch 3, which switch is the root? Again, switch 2 is the root. You can check the results. And cost to reach root bridge is again 19 because here we are using fast Ethernet links and all fast Ethernet links have cost 19. Next, you can see FS0 by 1 is the root port and FS0 by 2 is the block port. So why that port is blocked? We already discussed those particular things under spanning tree election process. Now, uh, let's say I am connecting two switches again in front of you. Like this. So I have connected them. So now you will see that these switches will take some time. Or you can say switch ports will take some time to get the ports into forwarding state. But guys, how much time? So this time is nearly equal to 30 seconds. So convergence time is 30 seconds. Next, which spanning tree protocol are we running on these switches? So now you can see three ports are green in color and one particular port is orange. So which spanning tree flavor we are running here? So we can check that again by running the same command show spanning tree and you can see spanning tree protocol enabled is IEEE. IEEE means PVST plus we are running on these switches.
but let me show you one more thing let's say i have two switches and i am connecting them but before connecting them let me the switch is booting up so i have to wait for like three to four seconds now i can click again now before connecting them i am changing the flavor spanning tree mode i am change, changing to rapid pvst so rapid pvst is r pvst plus and for other switch also command is spanning tree mode rapid pvst so like i explained in the theory lectures that pvst plus was a timer based protocol it took 30 seconds to convert converge but in case of rstp elections are done on per segment basis so it will take a very less time as compared to pvst plus so let's see the results how just by connecting the links So you can see this convergence was very fast as compared to the convergence we have seen here and this is the only difference between PVST plus and RSTP the convergence time. The last thing that we will discuss in this particular video is how you will enable port fast. So when we want to enable port fast, we can enable it globally on the switch with the help of command spanning tree port fast default. So let me check this command is available in packet tracer or not. So I will move to the last switches that we have. Spanning tree port fast default. Next. Spanning tree port fast default. So what this command will do? This command will enable port fast on all the access ports. So what are access ports where all users are connected? So let me try to connect them. So I am connecting users now. Now if I check. Show spanning tree again. Show spanning tree. You can see one more port is added in the spanning tree that is port number FA0 by 3. So this port is added and it is a designated forwarding state. So this port also didn't took any time to come up. Next on this port till now port fast is not enabled because I think I have to configure this port as access show spanning tree. I think it will not show in packet tracer but if I do the same thing on real switch if I run the command spanning tree port fast default what it will do it will configure all the access ports in port fast state port fast state means if you are configuring RSTP and you are running port fast on a port that particular port will not participate in spanning tree elections and second that particular port will not pass through any spanning tree state so, so that port will be up as soon as you connect the cable so guys in this video we have discussed how spanning tree elections will happen after that we have discussed what flavors we found on cisco platforms and at last how you can configure port fast on cisco switch thank you